Electronic Sounds Audio, the YouTube channel for you. So there's a link to this page in the video description and once you get here you'll see that there's some other freebies on the top and you'll go ahead and scroll down to the single cycle waveforms collection and what we're going to do is we'll just click on this well you'll need to have dropbox installed in your ipad for this to work okay and you're going to click these three buttons in the upper right hand corner you're going to choose export and you're gonna uh, rather you're gonna open in you don't need the top row sorry about that you're gonna choose open in okay and uh, let's see here we're just gonna scroll on over to audio you're gonna copy to audio share again you'll need to have audio share installed if you'd like to do it this way and here it's opening audio share and it's going to unzip the contents of this file which is really uh, an important thing and why we need to use uh, audio share to do this to get the zip file off of Dropbox guys and then in the folder is a hundred single cycle oscillators now and these will be available to us to import inside of Core Gadget and let's check that out we'll close everything here okay and we will open up Core Gadget. Okay, now I have an instance of Vancouver loaded here. And what you can do is in the sample menu, if you click where the, like the waveform name is here. Come on. There we go. Sorry about that. And then you'll find the, like a user folder and an import uh, icon down here. If we click the import icon, audio share is available. So we'll click that, we'll allow it to open audio share. And then all we have to do is choose any of these single cycle oscillators. So let's choose here we go. I am thicker uh, 07. Actually, these look a little. Oh my goodness, these are crazy looking. All right. Well, let's take uh, I am thicker 01. We'll import that right in. Okay, and there it is. I think that was the one I had in there to begin with. So let's try a different one. Let's try. Let's try. How about March Monday 36? Let's import that in. Okay, great. So there it is. March Monday 36. And that's how in a, it'll now be available to you uh, in your user samples folder inside of Gadget. Let's do one more. Again, we'll just click the title here. We'll click the import icon. We'll choose audio share. And then, you know, you'll have the folder Dean's Single Cycles here inside of your library. And you'll just, you know, pick whichever you'd like. Here's Square E06. We'll import that in. And there we have it. That's all there is to it, guys. There's a hundred of these single cycle oscillator shapes. Um, single cycle waveforms here, guys. You can import these in and create all sorts of new sounds super quickly and easily. Enjoy. There's just a couple of important things that you'll want to keep in mind here when you're using these single cycle waveforms, guys. You're going to want to make sure that loop is on instead of, you know, in off. Okay, so you're going to make loop on. Um, I guess it would probably work with the reverse on as well, but by default, you'll probably want that off. Uh, we'll leave the length at 100 and the zero, uh, excuse me, the start at 0% because these are already edited. You don't need to set up um, your own loop points. You just need to set, you know, their loop points all the way to the beginning and the start every time you load one of these single cycle oscillators. Uh, let's see here. And in the, um, rather in the mixing page, um, you know, you can adjust the octaves up or down with the tuning knobs, if you go, you know, plus 12, that's gonna be an octave higher on the keyboard. If you go minus 12, that's gonna shift it down an octave on the keyboard. That way, you know, you'll be able to sort of keep it in line um, with where their, um, you know, with where their factory presets are uh, on the keyboard. So like if you hit C3, um, you know, that it'll line up with, you know, the same octave that it would hit if you hit C3 on the factory presets for the most part. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to plug in my MIDI keyboard so I can show you some sound examples of my intention of what you can do with these uh, single cycle waveforms here. And um, I'll, I'll lose the mic when I do that. So what I'm going to do is just, you know, import um, single cycles in and play them for you. Maybe mess a little bit with the space effects and the vibrato so we can hear what sort of sounds um, that you might uh, be able to come up with when you start importing these into Gadget. want to note guys that these are just standard single cycle waveforms they're not uh, specifically made for core gadget they're just you know waveforms that'll be compatible with anything that uses these type of you know single cycle oscillator waveforms you can import them into VSTs such as serum or like Avenger um, from vengeance and uh, let's see here we can also use these inside of beatmaker 3's sampler that'll be a whole nother video Yeah. 